Hello, this is Allie with the Perception Trainers, author of The Perception Diet, and today we are going to talk about the real reason you feel like you need everyone to agree with you all the time. Alright, so in our world that we live in right now, there is a huge situation where most people feel really, really insecure in themselves and we tend not to feel very confident in ourselves or confident in our abilities, confident in our uh, perceptions, confident in our just ways of being unless we know that the people around us love, support, and agree with us. Okay? So this is pervasive in friend groups, in family groups, in um, kind of like any group that you associate yourself with. There's going to be a part of you that feels really, really upset and really, really insecure and really, really just like gutted and there's going to be a lot of emotional pain when you feel like the people around you don't love and accept and agree with you, okay? So obviously part of this is with all that abandonment wounds that we've been talking about so much on this channel lately. So if you haven't watched my series on emotional mastery, definitely go and watch that because it will talk a lot about that abandonment wound and where there was a part of you that felt like you being who you are got rejected and that kind of spiraled you into this thing where you felt like you needed to be approved of all the time. And so you either um, augmented your personality so that you would be approved of, which still feels terrible because then you're not really being authentic, or you're being authentic but while you're being authentic, you feel bad about yourself while you're doing it, right? So it's kind of like this lose-lose situation. So I wanted to take a deeper look at this idea today. So now that you're doing your self-awareness work and your emotional mastery work, we can look at this at a, at a little bit of a deeper level. Okay, so obviously, like I was saying, you're, you have these abandonment wounds because of social conditioning where you, find, you learn somewhere along the line that you being the way that you are was not okay, not socially acceptable, and the abandonment wounds and the social conditioning of your parents and their parents and your society taught you that that's bad and wrong and you shouldn't be that way. But now, let's look at where did that come from, right? Where did the social conditioning come from? Why is it that we have this conventionally agreed upon way of being that seems to be, right, if we really follow this through, pretty against 100% of the people, right? Because as we say, babies aren't naturally born with this understanding of social conditioning. This is something that we are educated on as we grow, which means it's not part of natural human evolution. You see what I'm saying? It's not part of natural the way that humans naturally are. If we were just to allow children to grow into the people that they naturally are without any social conditioning, if that was possible, the thing is we have this fear, right? This collective fear that we would be these like crazy, out of control, animalistic, animalistic drive, just like, like I say, out of control, evil things. Okay? Okay. So if we look at that and we understand that that's kind of the underlying belief system that we have as a human race right now, that if we're not conditioned, if we're not controlled, if we're not taught how to behave, if we're not taught how to be, that we're going to be completely crazy and out of control, that's already fully and completely out of alignment with the truth. Okay, so how do we know that something is out of alignment with the truth? Well, this, so this is where we kind of get into this like very deep understanding. Okay, what we need to understand is that in order for a lie, so something that is out of alignment with reality, in order for something that is out of alignment with reality to exist, in order for something that is out of alignment with reality to exist and then proliferate, it requires the agreement and the participation of everybody who is involved in keeping that lie alive. Okay, so for instance, nobody has to agree. Nobody has to, um, there's not a rule that says 
that if all the people on earth, or even 10% of people on earth, or any percent of people on earth, if we were to say, I no longer believe that the, that the earth revolves around the sun. I now believe that the sun is revolving around the earth. That's what it looks like, right? Like what we used to believe. Um, and that's what it is, okay? It doesn't matter how many people start to believe that. The reality is that the sun, the, the earth revolves around the sun, okay? So back in the day when people believed that the sun revolved around the earth and that the earth was the center, that was never actually happening, okay? So this is something we need to understand. Reality always was what it was, okay? It's not as though as soon as we discovered that the sun was central and everything was orbiting around it, that that all of a sudden started to become reality right? No, it was always the reality that the sun was in the center and the earth was spinning around the sun and we were, we as an aggregate were collectively agreeing upon something that was out of alignment with reality, okay? But that did not change reality. You see what I'm saying here? Reality still was what it was and in order for us to keep believing that the sun was revolving around the earth required everyone's participation. So then when Galileo came along, it was like, actually, you guys, look at the facts. The earth is definitely revolving around the sun. They wanted to kill him, right? They imprisoned him, and they, were saying, they called him a heretic because, they're, because, again, out of that one fundamental misunderstanding of reality, right, was built a whole bunch of other belief systems that had to do with the church and had to do with government and had to do with keeping a whole bunch of other false things in place, right? Because a lie never just stays in and of itself. We always build upon everything. Remember that here on earth, expansion is the name of the game. So we're never going to have a lie and then just have that lie, okay? We're going to have a lie and then we're going to build upon it, build upon it, build upon it, build upon it, build upon it. And it's like we get this whole big house of cards that again, it requires the participation of everybody who's involved in order to keep that house of cards alive. So if one person pulls out, right? And it's like, no, that's not how it is. The whole thing crumbles. And this is what we need to understand, okay? The reason we are so desperate for everybody to agree with us is because we are currently living in a society that is mostly built upon untruths. And the only way that an untruth can continue to exist is as if everybody participates, okay? And this is why all throughout history, the people that came along and said, whoa guys, this is not in alignment with truth. What you're doing is not reality. This is reality and I can show you how it's reality. I can give you all the evidence. Da, 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 da. We always want to kill those people. We always want to get rid of those people. We call them heretics. We want to destroy them. Because the thing is, right, the lie is so much less, so much less powerful than the truth that we need everyone to participate in order for it to keep going. So one person pulling out can like make the whole thing crumble. So this is a huge thing we need to understand, okay? That when you start to wake up, when you start to do your personal development work, when you start to do your enlightenment work, when you start to do your awareness work, you're gonna come to realize that there are a ton of systems that are at play on the earth right now that are completely out of alignment with truth. For instance, authority. Okay, this is a huge one. That's a massive lie that has nothing to do with reality that we all participate in and it's the only way the system keeps functioning. So for instance, okay, let's get real here. Why is Donald Trump in power? The real bottom line, hardcore, how this happened is because everybody kept giving him power. This is what we need to understand. Not everybody, obviously not everybody did it, but the majority of the people and the college lecturers, and the, I know that there's like a whole, okay, so again, this still continues on. First things first, the aggregate believes in authority. Now, we need to really understand that the reason we can say that authority is not a reality it is a lie that we all collectively agree on. It's because if everybody stopped believing in authority in this moment and we all just believed that we were all equal, the authority figures wouldn't stay being in power. 
This is the thing. They wouldn't have something about them that is different from everybody else that means that they are an authority figure. Okay? There's nothing inherent in the authority figures that makes them authority figures. It is the collective agreeing that authority exists and then giving it to some people that creates the power structure. This is what we need to understand. So even just the fact that we have the government set up the way that it is, is already founded on a lie. Right? It's founded on the idea that there are some people who need to rule over other people because we have this fundamental core belief about humanity that if we were to just be allowed to be ourselves, that we would be crazy and out of control. Okay, again, let's look at how this is actually playing out. Right? Number one, we then create these authority figures, these authority structures that we always see time and time again, over and over and over in humanity, Every single time we do this, right, it creates chaos. It never leads to order. No structure on the planet yet that has an authority over others has ever ended in, in, in order. It's never created peace, right? We got to look at this. We really need to understand this because we do not have peace. We do not have peace on this planet. We do not have peace. We have shit tons of authority. We have shit tons of people who are above other people. But we do not have peace. And that was the point of authority. Do you understand what I'm saying here? That because of this fundamental belief that we would run amok if we were not governed, the point of the government was to control the people from running amok. We're running amok. <laughs> Look at it, right? It didn't create, it. authority did not work because it is out of alignment with reality. So like I said, if we all pulled out of that system and started living as though every individual needs to be responsible for themselves, and when every individual is responsible for themselves, that is when order is created, right? When we all start to look at our own shadows, we all stop projecting onto everyone else and everything else that it's your fault, and it's their fault, and it's government's fault, and it's the circumstances' fault, and it's my family's fault, blah, blah, blah. And we actually take personal authority over ourselves, right? If every human being on the planet did that, we would have peace. We would have order, right? If we all stopped collectively projecting all of our shit onto everybody else, and we actually took ownership for ourselves and integrated ourselves. I know this sounds like a super far-fetched thing. I'm not saying that this would be easy. I'm saying this is what would happen. And I'm saying that the point of authority isn't working. You see what I'm saying here? But because we all agree, it continues to happen because we all agree. So this is what you need to understand as you start to awaken your consciousness, okay? You're going to start to realize that as you awaken your consciousness, pretty much everything that has been going on on the planet for the entire time that you've been alive and all of recorded history is totally and fundamentally out of alignment with the truth. Okay? Ownership of land, of people, of buildings, of that is completely false. Right? If we didn't all participate in it, if we didn't all agree that that was a thing, it wouldn't be a thing. We would all inhabit the earth and we would co-create with the earth. Like the native Canadians and the Native Americans before they were settled by the Westerners, they were forced to sign pieces of paper to hand the land over to these, to the conquerors, and to them they were like, this is not a thing. This is not a thing because the, we don't own the land. We can't sell it to you because we are part of the land. Just because we don't have roots in it, just because we're not attached to it, doesn't mean we're not part of it. They were in alignment with reality. Right? They were living in alignment with reality. They were one with nature. Nature was one with them. That was the truth. And then the Westerners came and were like, no, this is how we're going to do it. And now there's ownership and you're going to sign it over to us. And they were like, what is this? This is not a thing. And ever since then, it has been creating chaos. Okay? Because that is the bottom line. You are going to see that every single time we're out of alignment with reality, chaos ensues. We trick ourselves into thinking that we're creating order when really we are creating chaos. Authority has never created order. We are not in order. This is not order. This is not peace. This is not how it's supposed to be. We are tricking ourselves into thinking that our being out of alignment with reality is creating order. It isn't. Reality is an order. And when we 
align ourselves with what reality actually is, your life, your specific life, so I'm going to say this, even if the entire aggregate does not agree with you, okay? They are living in the false thing. They are living in authority, they're living in ownership, they're living in the education system, they're living in all these systems that don't actually even exist. The reason it keeps going is because everybody agrees with it. If you withdraw, okay, most people think your life is going to fall apart. Not true. What's going to happen is you're going to withdraw and you're going to start to align with actual reality, okay? Everyone else is going to get freaked the fuck out because you pulling out fucks with them way more than it's going to ever fuck with you. That's what we need to understand. When you pull out of the lie, the house of cards starts to crumble. Your life then starts to come closer and closer into order. And this is the beautiful thing. As you align yourself, your personal responsibility, you align yourself with actual reality, your life will come closer and closer and closer into order. It will not fall apart. It will not go crazy. And this is exactly what the power structures that exist on the planet want you to believe. They want you to think if you check out of the system, you're going to become a bum on the street. That's not what's going to happen if you're actually aligning with reality. So now, here's the next important key. If you're just ejecting yourself from the system in a kind of like fuck you way, that is not going to help you. Okay? That's when you might have, end up a bum on the street. Because here's the thing. You can't become not something. You cannot check out of a system and say F you to the system and say, you know, I'm just going to let it, watch it burn. You can't just burn down the banks and think, you know, we're going to erase credit card debt and because we burned down the bank. That's not going to work. Okay? What is going to work is, again, you aligning with reality and therefore living in a new system. Okay? You're exiting the old thing to create or live within the new thing. So here, this is the important distinction to make. You don't need everyone to agree with you if you are living in alignment with reality because the results will show themselves. When you are living in alignment with reality, your life will come into order, chaos will stop being a part of your reality, you will start to take all the personal responsibility for your own chaos, you will stop creating chaos, and literally, the chaos that is ensuing outside of you won't affect you. And I know this sounds like hokey pokey stuff, but it isn't, okay? I can tell you this from my own life. The more I have taken personal responsibility for myself, checked out of the old system by creating the new system, being in the new system, being in the new way, my life has come more and more into order. It has not descended into chaos. I did not become a bum on the street. M my whole thing didn't fall apart. This is the thing. I have found loopholes in all of these systems that I now exist in that I didn't know even existed because I am coming closer and closer and closer into alignment with reality. So there is no destruction that's happening in my life. This is what you need to understand, okay? As I come more and more into alignment with reality within myself, taking more and more responsibility for myself, order is created. I live in an ordered life. My life is not a big, dramatic, crazy mess like most people's lives are. My life is very calm. My life is very peaceful. My life is very succinct. And it becomes more and more like that as I align myself with reality. So understand this. As you awaken your consciousness, you're going to realize that the old system doesn't work, but you're going to have inspired action to create the new system. You must create the new system. You must take responsibility for yourself. Don't burn down the old thing. We must replace it with something new. You must be a part of the new world. So this is the thing. Don't wait for it to burn. Don't wait for it to collapse. Don't wait for everybody to agree with you. Let everyone get upset with you that you are pulling out and their whole structure is falling apart because you have all the power when you are in reality. And then you create the new thing, not as a fuck you at all. You create the new thing so that everyone who's existing in the lie can look at you and say, okay, we have somewhere to go. Be the light. Be the light. That's what that means. Be the light. Make the new thing and say, look over here. There's a new thing. You don't have to be so afraid to let go of the old thing because the new thing is here, okay? Let go of needing people to agree with you. Stop beating yourself up for being out of alignment with, don't try and protect anyone from themselves. 
I'll see you in the next video.